Hi, in this video we will talk about one of the three reasons that people have problems with going to sleep, their problem maintaining their sleep or when they are waking up they don't feel fresh. So we will talk about one reason in this video, in the next video we will talk about the other two reasons. Again, we are talking about people who have problems with sleep. It can be people who have problems with sleep here and there, but mostly we are talking about those people who are having insomnia. When people don't have adequate amount of sleep, they don't go to sleep at the right time or they it takes them a longer time to go to sleep they are waking up quite a bit and when they are waking up they don't feel fresh it happens with them three times a week and at least lasts for three months so we are not talking about people who are having problems with sleep due to underlying medical problems or who have problems with sleep due to have they have some kind of uh, uh, side effects on medications or they are having problems due to underlying sleep apnea or other medical problem like restless leg syndrome. So we are talking about people who don't have these problems, who don't have any medical problems, who don't have any medication side effects, and but still they have problems with their sleep. They have that insomnia that lasts for up to three months. But this video will also help with people who don't have the actual sleep issue for three months even they have sleep problem for a few days to few weeks so this video will also help uh, people who are going through this kind of problem also so there are three reasons that people don't have uh, adequate amount of sleep the first one we will talk about is the homeostatic disruption so what is that so let's talk about it so for people who suffer from sleep problems, who suffer from insomnia, their body is not usually tired at the end of the day. And that can make them unable to go to sleep because their body is not tired. So let's think about uh, our homeostasis of our body as a bicycle tire. And we need it to be inflated we need that bicycle tire to be inflated to go to sleep. So if the bicycle tire is not inflated, we are not able to sleep well. Uh, to make it inflated, we must keep our bodies physically active. If we spend too much time in bed, lying down or resting a lot during the daytime, then this bicycle tire will not be properly inflated and we will not be able to sleep better our body will keep thinking hey i'm not tired the tire is not inflated so then our body is not tired and then we will have problem going to sleep homeostatic disruption causes reduce deep sleep drive because the body is not tired so the sleep drive is not there so our body is not tired and we have problems going to sleep and spending too much time in bed, napping a lot during the daytime and not being physically active during the daytime can cause that. What happens people with sleep problem have a tendency to wake up late because they are not sleeping well so they wake up late. And sometimes people wake up late on weekends or if they have a poor quality of sleep. Or even when they are awake Sometimes people have a hard time coming out of the bed, so they are lying down in the bed for a few hours even. Because in our mind we have that false belief that if we did not sleep well, then we will have a bad day, which is actually not right. Um, staying in bed longer or not waking up at a consistent time causes our body to create an artificial jet lag like symptoms. And what happens because we are not sleeping well, we tend to have some tiredness during the daytime, sometimes we feel wired, but we are still able to function though it will take us longer time to do some of the things we have to do, more effort to do things. But if you review your day, at the end of the day, most of the time you are able to do the things uh, 
the same way as you would have done if you would have slept better though the effort was there uh, you had to put more effort and sometimes problems with sleep if it persists for a few days it can cause our mood um, to get uh, like uh, we get upset easily we get anxious easily we can be a little bit irritable easily so people during the week and spend time in bed or on the couch because we are feeling tired so we try to rest or relax and we try to quote catch up on our low energy it's okay to rest but we spend too much time it can cause us to feel less tired and our body will then start thinking that it's not tired that tire is not inflated and the deep sleep drive is not there so it in turn cause more problems with sleep and the next day we again are feeling tired some people even spend up to 6 to 8 hours each day on weekends on the couch does it help them with the energy maybe a little bit but most of the time lying down or sitting on the couch causes us to feel less energetic than even walking a little bit or go outside uh, enjoy the nature or uh, do some other activities by staying in the couch our body is not tired and we will have even more trouble going to sleep at night so this is one of the factor of problem with sleep is the homeostatic disruption because we are not providing enough uh, um, we are not doing enough things for our body physically so our body is not tired and at the end of the day it does not want to sleep and we have we try to force our body to go to sleep and it does not want to go to sleep so what happens we sleep late and then we wake up late and then this whole cycle keep repeating and repeating so the main thing is we try to sleep at the same time even if we don't sleep at the same time we try to wake up at the same time because sometimes we go to bed at let's say 10 pm and sometimes our mind is thinking too much and we are not able to relax and we go to bed at let's say 11 pm but try to wake up at the same time and eventually your body will catch up and you will be able to sleep better at the same time even at night time so the first aspect of problems with sleep is homeostatic disruption your body is not physically tired we have to make sure that we exercise we go on a walk we do some kind of physical activity to make our body tired in the next video we'll talk about the other two reasons of problems with uh, sleep thanks for watching